Hello everybody. Um, since everybody has a little bit of an interest in the EMF detectors and what can set them off in shielding, I'm going to show you a little bit of an experiment here in my office. Um, this is my desk. Um, and I've set up a whole bunch of EMF meters across the board. Starting with the Nikon meter, um, the Sperry meter, Ghost meter, the Mel meter, K2, uh, the Velman K2, the Dr. Gauze, and Trifield. Now what I have here, this is a little walkie-talkie unit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to key this down so you can see which ones will go off. Okay, again, I'm going to key the, key the, the uh, walkie-talkie and watch the reactions. And we see the, the K2 jump. Look at the mel meter. Nothing. And mind you, this is a very weak powered walkie talkie unit. Again, K2 jumping, even the ghost meter remaining at a, at a constant. Now, there is EMF obviously around my desk because there's a lot of power there. But if you look, all the other meters are staying pretty consistent. K2 jumping like crazy. And again, the mel meter, not even picking it up because the mel meter is filtering it out. So, just thought I'd kind of go over that and basically give you just a little bit of a rundown of what's happening there and why I say the K2 goes off very easily in fact too easy for me to you know really use it as a real serious tool so that's all I got thanks bye